For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem where they want you to replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and a couple moment acting on A right here. So basically, uh, you need to break down the forces into X and Y components. This one is already a Y component. This one's an X component. This will be the Y component of this one and the X component on this one. Now, you know that this is 3 and this is 4. Therefore, this angle, let's call it theta, is the same as this angle, theta. And theta is given by the tangent inverse of 4 over 3, which is equal to 53.13 degrees. So, if you want to find the X and Y components of this force, let's call this force F, then F in the X is equal to 100 cosine of theta, which, which is found, and F in the Y is equal to 100 sine of theta. So, this is 60, and this is 80. So, this is 60 in the X, and this is 80 in the Y. Now that we have all the X and Y components, then we can calculate the moments. So the sum of the moments at A is equal. First, we got the moment created by this 150 uh, pound force, which is 150, times the length of the lever arm, which is 3. So let's say going clockwise is positive. This turns the lever arm clockwise, so it's positive. The second force of 200 is not really doing any moment because it's aiming straight to the point. Now the third force, the 80 pound force, is going straight up on this lever arm right here, which has a length of 3 plus 3, which is 6. But it's turning the whole lever arm counterclockwise, so it's negative 80 times 6. And last, the 60 pound force is turning this lever arm right here and it's turning it clockwise, therefore it's positive 60 times 4. So when you add all these moments together you get that this is equal to positive 210 foot pounds because the distances are in feet and the forces are in pounds. So this is the moment about A. Now what you got to do is the sum of the forces in the x. In the x you have negative 200i for this force and positive 60 in the i for this force. So that comes out to be minus 140 in the i. Sum of the forces in the y is equal to minus 150 the j and this 80 is going up so it's plus 80 in the j so this comes out to be neg um, negative 70 so the resultant force is equal to minus 140 in the i minus 70 in the j so it's going this way and this way and this will be the resultant force the magnitude of the resultant force is given by the x component square plus the y component square all square rooted so the magnitude comes out to be 157 pounds and the angle let's call it we can call it beta because we use beta over here so let's call it this is equal to the tangent inverse of the y component which is uh, negative 70 over the x component which is negative 140 and comes out to be 26.6 degrees so that will be this angle right here so final answer for the moment final answer for the magnitude of the resultant force and final answer for the angle of that resultant force 
please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.